seven incredibly dangerous competitions from around the world. Number seven, freestyle alligator wrestling. Freestyle alligator wrestling is recognized as one of the most traditional, daring, and dangerous competitions in the world. In this extreme competition, wrestlers fight crocodiles using various techniques without the use of tools or weapons. At times, crocodiles can weigh up to 200 pounds and their powerful jaws move violently. These sudden movements often make it difficult to catch and control the animal, and wrestlers can suffer severe bites to the hands and legs. Number six, bullfighting. Bullfighting is a traditional competition in Spain and other countries where a trained bull fights. The competition usually consists of several stages where the bull is released into a field and a torero uses a red cape to pull the bull and avoid it. It is very dangerous, with many toreros being seriously injured while playing it. It's so risky that famous bullfighter Victor Barrio died in 2016 after a bull's horn entered his chest. Despite the risks, bullfighting in many countries is a popular and dangerous competition involving life and death. Number five, mountain bike riding. Mountain biking is considered to be one of the most dangerous competitions in the world. With specially designed bicycles, riders maneuver through forests, steep inclines, steep dirt roads, and rocky trails. Sometimes serious injuries are caused by various obstacles while riding a bicycle, and there is even a possibility of falling off the hill. Nevertheless, it makes the contestants more confident and mentally strong. Mountain biking is a dangerous competition for which riders must be highly skilled and experienced. Number four, creaking. Creaking is an exciting and challenging form of kayaking that originated in the United States and Europe in the 1970s and 1980s. Creaking is generally done by navigating narrow, fast-flowing streams, which are filled with obstacles such as rocks, waterfalls, and steep drops. Creaking is extremely dangerous, as kayakers have to wade through tight passages and rough waters, but despite wearing safety gear, many people get injured doing this. Anyway, creaking allows kayakers to experience the thrill of exploring rough waterways and the beauty and tranquility of the natural environment. Number three, volcano surfing. Volcano surfing, also known as volcano boarding, is an extreme competition in which individuals slide down the slopes of a volcano on a specially designed board. Participants can descend the volcano at speeds reaching up to 50 miles per hour. This activity exposes surfers to various risks including cuts from the sharp volcanic ash and toxic gases, for which volcano surfers use the safety gear of jumpsuits and goggles. Despite the risks, volcano surfing has become a popular adventure tourism activity, attracting thrill-seekers from around the world. Number two, highlining. Highlining is a risky balancing competition that usually involves walking on a slack line suspended between mountains, buildings, bridges, or other tall structures. It is considered an extreme competition due to the high risk involved and requires a combination of physical and mental skills to navigate the line safely. Highliners wear a harness and are attached to a safety leash for protection. Sometimes while highlining, participants lose their balance and fall, but the safety leash usually prevents serious injuries. Despite being risky, the competition has become very popular worldwide. Number one, bull riding. Bull riding originated in Mexico in the 16th century and later spread worldwide. It is a rodeo sport where a rider mounts a powerful bull and attempts to stay on its back for as long as possible. It requires immense skill, balance, and courage, as the rider must endure the bull's bucking and spinning movements. To get a score, the rider must stay on top of the bull for at least eight seconds. Riders are sometimes seriously injured by the bull's unexpected and powerful blows, and many riders are crippled. Since its inception, many professional bull riders have died and been injured by bulls. Because of that, the competition is considered to be the most dangerous competition in the world.